All right, good day, hi, and welcome. Okay, so what have I got going on today is a couple of months ago, I bought myself a Dean Markney pickup. I still have the package here. Bear with me. And I got the and uh, this is the Dean Markney uh, Pro Mag XM number 301. So it's this one here. And that's the package that comes in. I had one of these years ago, but it was a little different. Uh, it even came, I think, with an extra set of strings. And, you know, they got the product placement in there and all that stuff. And I think it came with an extra set of strings, too. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, $54.99. I got it Steve's Music. So why do I got it? Well, you say, Reg, isn't that an Ibanez uh, AEL-10? Doesn't that already have a built-in pickup and everything? Yes, you would be correct. But uh, my electronics don't work anymore. I um, It's just a little drop. One drop. And it, it just shorted out my... Yeah, be careful when you're using guitar polishes and stuff. I'll just say that. But, oh well. So I put this one in. And you can notice this guitar doesn't have a pick guard. I'm going to bring that up for a second. So you can see the, the guitar, the pickup just slides in and it just, it just holds, it's just detented hold in there. And then you got your little uh, cable comes out. And then it's just got a quarter inch shack. They used to have like a 15 foot cable on this and it had a quarter inch, but if you stepped on it or shorted it out, that was it. So this is a jack and you just hook your, hopefully you can see it well. It's just a quarter inch jack and, and it has a little, a leather piece on it to hook around your strap. So hopefully you got a very thick strap button. Uh, I'll show you that again. Uh, basically holds the cable and the um, the quarter jack. You hook it around the strap button, and hopefully you have a thick enough strap button that you can still put your strap on there too. This, this guitar is no problem. The strap buttons are huge on the sucker. So right now I don't have an acoustic amp. I'm just playing through a VTX 15 crate. I've had for years and years and years. And I've got all everything. Maybe we'll give it a little more volume. Uh, mids on middle, highs on middle, and low is on middle, and volume is where it is. And no effects, no reverb, nothing. But just so you can hear the pickup. A little out of tune, but oh well. Why is that important? A lot of guys do go to these because, for example, this has a, 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 a frequency cutoff on it for lows so that your guitar isn't humming and buzzing and whatever when you play at large volume on stage. This is basically a passive pickup, meaning there's no battery, there's no EQ on it, what you get is what you get, and it only... <laughs> the sound of the guitar is that's what you're going to get uh the only thing i found about it again remember i mentioned there was no pick art on this this guitar i've had for over 10 years and barely any scratches here really from my picking but i want to show you something strangely enough i'm sawing away uh, you can see it right here uh, i don't know if you can see really well i know the lighting's not the best in here it's a dark day in the window isn't letting in a lot of light but you can see that that's all kind of grounded away Trying to get an angle for you. Not like up here, you can see. Uh, that started on day one. Uh, my pick, when I strum, hits there. And that's the only, that's the only thing I complain to. I don't know if you can really complain about it. But it hits that, not the guitar. So I guess it's, it could be a me thing. It's sitting as flat and as low in there as possible. But it is what it is. So uh, I'll just give you a little bit of a demonstration of the sounds. And then I guess we'll wrap it up with that. 
But it, it's not going to give you stellar sounds. Uh, the internal uh, piezo pickups always sound better, but um, more tone rich. But this will give you a natural tone and whatever, and you can still make it sound good, so. <laughs> up fairly balanced so it's not like the E's over loud and the high E and the low E they pick up fairly evenly so that's not so bad so not the best sounds you'll ever get uh, let's uh, let's change the mids I'm gonna bring the mids right down bass is up full put the high up full Give it a little more volume. We get some grunt out of it. It doesn't have a lot of grunt to it. I think the last one I had was really uh, bassy. I got the volume on that up pretty loud too. So. So you get an idea that it's a pickup that it'll give you something anyway. For 60 bucks, you can change your guitar from a acoustic guitar to an electrified acoustic guitar and for 60 bucks so that's not too bad it's not the best I haven't tried it live yet because it's only when you have a microphone in front of you and another microphone there and a whole bunch of speakers surrounding you where you find out uh, it doesn't seem to feedback crazy but like anything you usually have to start taking the high end off and the low ends off uh, on acoustic guitars once you start putting the volume to them uh, that type of thing so it is what it is it'll get you some sound it'd be great for jam nights stuff like that it's cheap you can record with it uh yeah that's the dean marketing pickup there we go all right have yourselves a great day eh?